Did you know you can convert your power socket into Ethernet port? This is something called power line adapter, which uses your electricity cables to transmit data. You will need at least two of these units. One you plug into your main socket, not an extension lead, in a main socket near your router and connect your router through the LAN cable. And then you get another one wherever you want your LAN connection to be, either it's in your office or bedroom or somewhere else where you need LAN connection. You can have several of these connected to your power socket and suddenly you get your Ethernet connection. This is magic, isn't it? Well, actually, it's not. So how it works is that electricity works usually around 50 hertz cycles. So it pushes the current 50 times per second. It might seem really fast, but with modern technology, it's actually very slow. So every time you zoom in, actually there is a gap between those 50 hertz. So in between this power gap, you can actually send data. So you can use this free space, this bandwidth for data transfer. And that is exactly what this device do. Why I'm making this video is because you've been asking me how to get ethernet connection in your home. Because quite often, either you don't want to drill holes or put new wires in your house, or sometimes you are not allowed to do that if you are renting the property. And sometimes it's simply cheaper to get one of those adapters rather than running new cables. Sometimes you want to put your NAS in a basement and your laptop in a living room. And this is gonna take you a minute to set up. Very quick. So you can plug one of these units next to your router, connect the ethernet cable, plug another one in the basement, connect your NAS, and connect the third one in your living room and connect your laptop. And now you suddenly have one gigabit speed. You might say you have seen something familiar and there are something called Wi-Fi extenders, but those devices are slightly different. You do plug them into a power socket, but they don't use electricity cables to send data. They send wireless signal from one adapter to another. But this is exactly what you want to avoid because Wi-Fi signal is not as strong if you need to transmit through the walls. I can see you want to get one of these already, but before you buy, there is something you need to keep in mind. You need to check what speed it can deliver. Some of these devices are only capable of 100 megabit speeds. Some of them are one gigabit speeds and above. So before you buy one, make sure this is actually a power line adapter that use electric cables to transmit the data. Also check how many LAN connections you want. You can have either one, two or more. If you're curious what brand is the best, you will need to read reviews. There are so many brands available there. The biggest ones are TP-Link, or if you're in UK, you can have BT. You can either buy a new one, which is gonna cost you around $20 or 20 pounds per unit, or you can find second-hand units, like I bought three of these for 40 pounds. But there are many different shops you can go to, and there's so many options for you to choose from. Just keep in mind, in order to get the best speed, make sure they are using power sockets. I hope this video was helpful. If you want to see some tests with this or something related to this subject, do let me know, follow the channel, and you'll be notified when videos come live. Otherwise, thank you for watching and see you next time.